moves in is 1.5 3 core SWA. Now what you're going to be doing is you're going to be actually terminating into the board on a 6 amp breaker um, and you're going to be going via fuse connection unit to a LED security light with a passive sensor. So obviously when you do that you've got to be a little bit careful when you're testing it. Yeah. But this, there's loads of pieces in there for practice but the actual piece you're going to need is there's a hole in the bottom of your consumer unit. They're all gone, don't worry they have all gone. Um, you're going to need to do your initial measurement across the dimension so your cables are long enough. I think I mentioned that a couple of times when you were working. <laughs> so leave it plenty long enough. So you'll probably need 1.2 metres or maybe something like that. All I'm going to do is uh, just a, a demo of how to actually terminate. Now, this is the constituent parts of a gland kit. When you buy it, you get two of everything. Yeah? You get a shroud, which is actually sealed. Yeah, that's obviously been chopped off. You've got a back nut. You've got the body itself. You've got a banjo, called because it looks like a banjo. And you've got a security nut. Now, we're actually going to use the new equivalent. So these are going to be not used for this version. What we're going to use is this. Brilliant. Piranha nut. Basically what it does, this sits actually inside the bolt. Now it's got four little feet on the bottom of it. They're, quite, they're not sharp, but they, what they do is when you tighten it up, and it has to be very tight, it actually takes off the enamelling in the base of this to get a good contact. And what we're actually doing when we're using this, that has got a screw on it. So you take the screw out, tighten it up, and whichever facet is closest to you, you actually use a screw and you're going to use a piece of single green yellow cable with an eyelet crimp on. And it crimps onto the side and that goes into the earth bar. And that's actually earthing the armour. You've got CPC inside already, but you're think about when you're actually using this. If you bury it and someone hits it with a shovel, what's the first thing it's going to hit? Steel. Apart from the plastic outside, obviously. It's going to hit the armour. So if it penetrates the armour, you're actually already connected to the earthing point. And bearing in mind, it's an outside circuit, so it'll be RCD protected. So as soon as you're anything that's inside, it's gonna go click, turn it off. So that's our constituent parts that we're gonna be using. Now, what we have to do is obviously measure up, do your measurements, and I'm only gonna do a little bit, but what we have to do is you go around the entire circumference deep enough to penetrate the actual armour halfway or thereabouts. That's why I say get a piece to do a practice bit first because the chances are you might mess up a couple. Doesn't matter. But you can you, you can actually hear when you hit the armour. Yeah? So you don't want to go all the way through the armour, you just want to go halfway through it or thereabouts. And the reason we don't go all the way through it is the internal cores is very, very brittle. And uh, you can really easily damage it. So what we're going to do is we go all the way around. I might not have done it deep enough, which you'll see. Now what we want to do is we want to take off the outer PVC there. We do it with a knife. What we don't do is we don't go down and along because what can happen? It can dig into the armour and form little bulbs. So when you're trying to clear this, you should cut your fingers to bits. So, not doing it towards yourself or anybody in the way, what you want to do is go down the length of the cable. These knives are nice and sharp, so they will do that straight off, like so. And now we can pull that off without any worry of uh, injury. And you can see, the armouring has got a twist to it we we'll utilise that in a minute, but initially what we want to do, don't try it all at once, but you pull it bits off and it should be like that. A couple of, a couple of tweaks and it should snap off nice and clean.
So we've got a relatively flat, nice, clean. If you don't cut it deep enough and you try and do that, what happens is you end up and it bends and everything, and then you try and cut it off with a pair of side cutters and it leaves little hooks <coughs> on the top of that. And again, it gets difficult to, to terminate when you do that. At that stage, what you want to do is get your shroud and put your shroud on first, like so. These aren't designed in this particular form to be worn. fits on next and the thread inside the back nut points towards the end of the cable. And we can we can get back up in a minute. So now what we need to do is get our knife again and we need to go back about 30 mil. Now it's a deep all the way round cut. You can't damage the armory because it's only a single blade and for this one you can then push it and it should come off nice and easily. Like that. Now, we get a gland body, and our gland body has got a thread on one end and it's got a knurling on the other. What, our, what we're actually trying to achieve is to get that armour in around that knurling and secure it with the nut. So, what we have to do is to get it on the outside there, we open this up, and what we do with the twist, we just do that. that on and it's a little bit of a juggle now what I'm actually doing is I'm holding that cable with those two fingers and the palm of my hand I'm pushing like holding it with this one I'm actually with my forefinger and my thumb I'm pushing that way with the actual gland body you then bring up your back nut and whilst it's still pushing down you join it together like so some are tighter than the others. It needs to be very, very tight. Now, I'm not going to do it, but we've got, uh, we've got some adjustable spanners. We've also got some pipe, uh, sorry, some um, 5 volt uh, pliers. It has to be very tight. It's to do with the uh, earth continuity. We need the earth continuity to be good on it. So it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect all the way around. What we don't want is armour going inside. As long as it's all around the outside, then that is up really, really tight. Now, uh, if you're inside the bolt at one end, and obviously this will be considerably longer, you want to leave that about 10 to 15 millimetres outside. Chances are, on the other end, when we're going into one of these enclosures, if we actually put that in the side like so, the screw hole is virtually touching that. So what we tend to do is we will get a bush, which is what one of those is, and that will go on the inside of that, and a coupler. that would go into that one like that. So we've actually cleared our screw hole. Now that would sit like that, that screw in the end like that. So what we actually want is 10 to 15 mil of this inside the enclosure, just for mechanical protection. Yeah? So that's that in, and obviously you then term in, terminate into the back of the uh, supply side. On the other end, where we're doing the 10, 15 mil, it'll be long. Gently, with an emphasis on gently, score around your cable, not too deeply, just score around it. And then what you do is it snaps. There you go, you've got your three colours. Obviously, that's your line conductor. You utilise the grey as a neutral and you sleeve that. With blue sleeving, and your black is your CPC, and therefore you use CPC sleeving on it, and that's it.